So Hulu created an official Only Murders poll where you can choose who you think killed Bunny. Sadly, Jared was not listed, so it's safe to assume he's not the killer. So I went to my mind palace to see if I could come up with another suspect. Not only that had a decent motive, maybe means an opportunity, and above all, the biggest thing I've known, I've mentioned before, is that they move like a younger person, someone very active. They don't seem to be the same height as Detective Krebs, aka Glitter Guy. So we're looking for a younger person, or someone who appears to be very active. The person we saw attack Bunny at her door had oversized gloves, and though Bunny was attacked, we did not see a knife. Also, the person in the Arcata clones with Lucy in episode 4 did not have a knife, so I'm assuming that those two people are the same, and it's not the same person that Mabel saw in her room. It could also be lighting, but the killer, the person in Mabel's room, did not appear to have the same oversized gloves. I'll also go back to a previous comment that I think Howard's black eye was given to him by Bunny, and that is why we saw her working out in the morning. And like Teddy and his black market dealings wasn't directly related to Tim Cono's death, I don't think the painting does either, but it still comes into play. Either way, I think Bunny had the replication of the Rose Cooper painting made and that was on display in her home, hiding where the real painting is. I'm guessing that will be revealed in episode 10. With that out of the way, here is a proposed series of events. Howard, the grandson of Rose Cooper, attacks Bunny in order to get the painting of his grandmother, the only thing that he has left of his family. In the scuffle, Howard knocks her out. Thinking she is dead, he leaves with the painting. This is who Lucy sees in the Arcatacombs, and this is why this person did not have a knife. Bunny comes too, and using her master key, she stumbles into Mabel's room, as this is the last place she knew them to be. Only Murders in the Building is a hot new podcast. And after being bought for $30 million, Cindy Canning can't have some newbies come in and unseat her as a go-to for true crime podcast. They must be taken out to preserve her empire. I proposed that the killer was not after Bunny, but after Mabel, attempting to break up the podcast by having it appear that Oliver kills Mabel using one of his knives. Bunny was just in the wrong place at the wrong time, looking for help, but finding another person with nefarious motives. The killer, days before, researched the Arconia and listened to the Only Murders in the Building podcast on double speed. Hearing of Teddy Demas' secret room, knowing it's not in the plans for the building, decides to do more research and finds out that the architect Archibald has other buildings in other countries. They found out that those other buildings are known to have hidden passageways. They bribe Ursula for more information, buying cases of gut milk, getting dirt on the podcasters, including their room numbers. The killer then interviews the superfans. After talking to Marv, she gets confirmation that there is indeed a secret passageway inside of the Arconia. They schedule a meeting with Bunny at the Pickle Diner to talk about the trio and the podcast. But once they bring up the passageways, Bunny shuts down, tells them not to publish the secrets of the Arconia. But they will do whatever they need to to ensure the Canning Empire stays on top. It was stated that Cinder will do anything for a good story and that there are bodies buried. Maybe this is literal. Maybe Cinda has gone to great lengths to obtain great stories that has led to her $30 million deal. A person like that likely has some of the police in their pockets. People like Detective Kreps. Someone to help them with their crimes. They devise a plan, and on that night, the killer sneaks into Oliver's apartment and steals a knife. 
from a burner phone they called their police friends, notifying, quote unquote, of a murder. Then they text Oliver and Charles to get out of the building, hoping to have them be caught fleeing from the scene. They then sneak into Mabel's room where they'll wait for her to come in. But when Bunny comes in wearing a hoodie, the killer thinks it's Mabel and they stab her. They stab Bunny eight times. Looking at the face inside the hoodie, realizing it wasn't Mabel, they realize that they've made a grave mistake and they must make a quick change of plans. She grabs a knitting needle and makes it seem as if Mabel killed Bunny in her own apartment. This will still work, as the podcast will still have multiple members implicated in the homicide. And with the fall of only murders in the building, only murderers in the building would rise. We can get rid of the competition and build something off of their ashes. Poppy wants to be a great podcaster. But she stated multiple times that she must pay her dues, living up to the ideas that she has of her great mentor, who we know will do anything for a great story. The stories we tell ourselves, justifying these actions, they are the little fictions in her life. A young woman with big dreams who has sold her soul, likely multiple times, in order to appease a boss who she later finds out doesn't care for her, even after she went above and beyond to take out the competition. Poppy is smart, resourceful, and at the time, willing to do anything to move ahead, smart enough to figure out the secrets of the Arconia, talk to Cinda's contacts and the police. She wanted to protect her boss's empire. She went to great lengths to do so, and I think Cinda's likely worked with Krebs before, under the table. But this time, it's actually Poppy who's doing all the work. I believe Krebs is unaware that Cinda has nothing to do with it, and Cinda is unaware that Poppy is the culprit. Poppy would give Krebs the phone, hoping that the podcasters would give him incriminating evidence to seal the deal of their guilt. Who knows? Maybe now she will attempt to frame Cinder and take over what she has built. I know, I know, it's out there and it has more holes than Bunny, but it's just an idea and I decided to go with it. Let me know, do you think if it holds any water? And if anything, I say the killer's poppy, even if not for these reasons, because everyone else seems too easy of a suspect for me. Don't forget, we have a giveaway. We'll be giving out $50 in official Only Murders in the Building merchandise at the end of the season. All you need to do is be a subscriber, comment on the video, and a winner will be chosen at random at the end of the season. Either way, let me know. Who do you guys think it is down in the comments? My name is Dallas. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the rooftop.